So I used to run a string quartet in the UK, um, obviously I'm a cellist so I had two violinists and a viola player and we got booked to play at an Indian wedding playing classical music but the bride and groom said to me like is there any chance that you could learn any Bollywood songs so they sent me some video links on YouTube and I arranged the songs for string quartet and then it was when we were playing at the Indian wedding, the response of the audience was just so appreciative that I thought, actually, this, this is really nice to have such engagement from an audience. I want to do more of it. So that, that's how it started. And the second thing, and this is not a lie, I discovered what you get fed at Indian weddings and my stomach said, do more. <laughs> so, Okay, uh, yeah. why the cello in particular? Like, uh, uh, why are you passionate for the cello in particular? Actually, I started playing piano when I was four, so I'm from quite a musical family. But when I was in like junior school, um, there was a cello teacher. So at morning assembly one day, they asked, does anyone want to learn how to play cello? And everyone's hands went up in the air. So they did an audition. But because I could already play piano, I passed the audition and we got free, free cello lessons. Describe your initial struggles in your career as a cello artist in the beginning, in the, in the career. I can't hear the beginning, what you're saying. Like, uh, your struggles in the beginning of your career um, yeah, as a cello artist. Do you have any, do you have any experiences, like, um, experiences like that? I think the main problem for most artists is always the marketing. Like, you, you can never rest because there's always more that you can do. So you have a tendency to never switch off. You're always in work mode, like how can I do this better? How can I improve? How can I take it to the next level? So that's the main struggle. You always want to push yourself further than you're currently at. So at my first Indian college festivals were last year, um, but from those I learned what, what do I want to bring to a college? And I, I can see from the response tonight that my preparation it did something. <laughs> I think people enjoyed it. Uh, you have played alongside one of the few of the best musicians in India right now, yeah. Vishal, Shikri, Javed, Ali and all of them. Yeah. So, who would you like to share the stage with in the future? Ooh, like, in the future? Yeah. I've never performed with Arjit Singh and his voice is just golden. I'd love to do something with him. Um, and Shreya Goshal, I, I really like and Julian Montiel. But I don't know if I pronounce his name correctly, but I love his voice. I could listen to it for hours. In fact, I tried to get one of my friends to design an emoticon where instead of the eyes being hearts, it has heart ears. Because <laughs> that's what I want to send to him. <laughs> uh, what will you describe as the best moment of your career so far? Um, definitely, no hesitation. It was um, doing MTV Unplugged for Mitten season four. It's just, he's my favourite composer. I'm playing Tom Hee Ho with the composer of Tom Hee Ho in that studio. It was just, I had goosebumps the whole time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, time out about our campus. How yeah. do you feel the crowd was here in our campus? Awesome. I should bet you are awesome. I, I've actually never had that amount of energy. And I had some things I was going to do, like asking people to put the lights on their phone during Sky Full of Stars. But you beat me to it. <laughs> You've already <laughs> done it. And yeah, I, think the, I saw the dance moves going on during Bad To Me to do, They were doing the right moves. <laughs> So, uh, how do you like rate your performance in Bisbal and Hyderabad campus? Would you like coming here again? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to say to your all other fans? Here? I just want to thank you for being an amazing audience. It, when you're a performer, sometimes if the audience doesn't give any energy to you, it's hard to keep your energy going. But it was just so easy. Like you were giving me more energy. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. So thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.